Okay, are you ready? So if you haven't heard, in November this year, we are releasing a new cookbook called Real Meal Revolution Low Carb Cooking, and it is based on 300 ingredients that all come from the green list, so they're all low carb, all delicious, and you can eat as much of them as you like. Now this week's meal plan is based on that cookbook, and it is called Taste the Future, because all of the members of our online program get to see all of the recipes in our books almost six months before they come out. Just a few of the meals you can expect to eat this week are egg rolls, my nifty little trick for breakfast that you can make in advance, caprese salad, which we recommend eating with seed crackers, we've got mini Caesar salad wraps, one of my favorite Friday night suppers, bangers and collie mash, and then butter chicken curry and grilled harissa lamb chops on Sunday lunch with walnut, sage and blue cheese roasted courgettes. Now, if these are the kinds of meals you'd like to eat while you lose weight, all of these recipes and meal plans are available in our online program and all the information for that is below. Today, I'm gonna to give you a masterclass on courgettes. Now, around the world, courgettes have got different names. They're called zucchinis, marrows, baby marrows, and obviously courgettes in France. No. <laughs> And one of my favorite things to do with courgettes is turn them into noodles, which also have a whole lot of names. Zucchini, courgette, and then obviously marrow spaghetti. And a few supermarkets have uh, showed us how to do them. I'm gonna show you how to do them properly and argue in favor of you doing them instead of the supermarkets. So as part of our courgette madness, we are gonna be doing a lesson on courgette, how to make them perfectly. Then we're gonna use that courgette and make a delicious pine nut, basil, and mint recipe. We're gonna be doing car, car grilled, we we'll grill that sh on the engine, yeah. <laughs> Some char grilled courgettes with blue cheese, crispy sage, and walnuts. And right at the end, basic buttered courgettes. I'm gonna teach you how to make courgette or courgette noodles or marrow spaghetti, whichever you like. So in 2014, shortly after Real Meal Revolution came out, you could get courgette noodles or courgette or Suzuki Lini uh, in a few of the major uh, retailers in South Africa. And it is very helpful that the stores make these available to us, but I argue that making them yourself is better for a few reasons. The one is that um, once they've sat in the bag for a bit, they get a little bit soggy. You absolutely have to have them dry when they go into the pan. That's actually the only reason. <laughs> not one of the reasons. You only need one reason, and that's that they're not nice if you buy them in a bag. So I'm gonna teach you how to make them yourself. I'm also gonna show you the difference between um, a good spiralizer and a bad spiralizer. And then I'm gonna show you how to cook them at the right heat to make sure they don't leach all their juice everywhere and they come out nice, slightly caramelized and delicious. Before you start, you need to make sure you've got the right tools. Now you get these old cheaper little spiralizer twirly pencil sharpener thingies. I don't find them work very well. I think that uh, most of the time you end up breaking the courgette while you're trying to twist it. Um, and they're very difficult to replace the blades. You can cut your fingers if you're not careful. So the tool I like the most is actually one of these slidey thingies. Um, and these are called Chinese slices. This one comes with three different blades. So I'm gonna show you how to use the green one. So what a good tool for me is a tool that's easy to set up and easy to clean. And this is pretty much as easy as it gets. Come many different brands, shapes and sizes, but it's the mechanism that makes them work so well. So I would recommend getting one of these. So assuming you have your Chinese slicer set up, it's very easy, this is how you do it. So you top and you tail your courgette and you press it into the machine and all you do is twist it and watch the noodles come out. And then at the end you're left with like a mini shaft, you can chop that up and add that into your uh, courgette noodles or you can use it for something else, roast it, use it for hummus, that's up to you. But basically that's how easy it is. And if you compare these to the store-bought variety, you'll see these are dry and crisp and fresh and the store-bought are actually slightly soggy. So the next thing you gotta do is get your pan nice and hot. But to demonstrate what happens if the pan's not hot, and if you do use the store-bought ones, I'm gonna show you how to make them really badly first. Like I always say, a hot pan, uh, if you had to just not do that and do like a medium pan, you don't wait for your pan to heat up. You put a little bit of oil in the pan, and you open your bag of conveniently bought courgette. 
and you just put them in the pan and wait for them to warm up. What you can see now, as this pan's getting hotter, is all the juices sort of coming out of the noodles. And sure, they will be cooked, and if you've got enough flavor in your sauce, they might still taste nice, but they will never be as good as the real thing. Now, the right way to get the courgette done is to get your pan ferociously hot. Okay, the pan's nice and hot, and give it a good glug of olive oil, and we wanna wait for that oil to, to be just before smoking point, or even if it is a little bit smoky, that's fine. Okay, now it's smoking, and we're gonna drop this in. Now, your immediate urge will be to toss it, but as soon as you lift the pan from the heat, you're gonna take it away from the heat, so the pan's gonna start cooling, and it is vitally important for this pan to stay hot. So, you're just gonna use a wooden spoon or some tongs to stir them around. And what you'll see is those bubbles on the side are not water boiling, that's actually the oil sizzling into the courgette. So we stir them around a little bit longer, and now they've got a little bit of color, and that is perfect. So if you were doing like a saucy courgette, this is the perfect time to add the sauce. If you're serving them just as a side, you tip them straight out into a bowl and serve immediately. Crack of salt and black pepper. <laughs> yeah, that's it.